We have a very clear vision and mission here at Fungapura College. We really want our learners to understand the global nature of the world they live in at the moment so that they can go out into the world and, and understand how different cultures operate. One of my key roles is working with heads of learning on designing relevant courses and a big part of that is ensuring that our curriculum is cohesive but also relevant and local and being part of a relevant curriculum at the moment has to involve technology. That's probably the most enjoyable aspect of my role because we talk about what we want to happen in the curriculum and then when I go out into the classroom, it's just so satisfying for me to actually see that in action and see our learners really engaging with the curriculum through technology. Technology has completely transformed the way we do things and it will continue to do so. We really aim to embrace that change. Dara Middleton, Head of Design Visual Communication. So design visual communication is all about having a problem or a brief and then solving it through trying to communicate through visual mediums what their idea is. We start off with basic cardboard models of houses, things like that, cutting, gluing, pasting, and then we move on to SketchUp. So they're getting more um, computer generated ideas, it's quite simple programs. And then from there, they can use those programs as say SketchUp to do 3D printing and make actual products they can pick up and use. And it's not just an idea, it could actually be a, a functioning product. Technology, it's cemented in their lives. So with us using it and with the programs that are available now, they want to interact with it. So if we give them what they like and they can use with some really great programs, they're far more interested. They're far more connected to what they're doing. In photography, we use only digital technology. We don't have any of the darkroom equipment and our learners use Photoshop mainly. At our school, which is not that common, we do have an A1 printer available for our students to use. Many schools actually farm that out to a commercial printer to print out their works, but here we give them the opportunity to actually see the process in the flesh. I suppose it just makes it a, a lot more accessible and they don't have to fluff around rushing to somewhere else and they can afford to make mistakes and to see the process emerging because if it's done commercially they just don't understand what's involved and I mean you might think it's just pressing a button but it's not always as simple as that. Yeah, students assessment work is always printed on our printer here. There's a lot of pressure at the end of the year so it really makes it a lot easier where they can do it in class and they don't have to go after hours and so forth. We we currently got fabric printers which are really helping the learners understand how the clothing industry works outside schools these days and it really brings their designs to life. We like to promote the school that we have the up-to-date technology and when we went out to Print Tender I recommended that we actually stand by that and make sure that we do have the latest technology so it was the right time in that tender process to make sure that we included everything like the 3D printer and the wide format arts printer. We were unaware of a fabrics printer until Rico mentioned it to us so we worked with them and got that on board as well. Things have changed dramatically over the last five to ten years in the classroom and the teacher's role has been totally redefined, mainly because we've got the technologies available to us. So knowledge now is no longer just in the teacher's head to be put into a student's head. Knowledge is everywhere. And so a teacher's role these days is more to facilitate that learning and to help learners be creative, to understand how to be collaborative, to understand how to think critically. And technology really facilitates that.